This video will show you the various ways that you can configure the Base 3's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is used for connecting the Base 3 to the Cab 3 app or a PC using the Base 3 system utility. Aside from controlling your trains, it allows you to customize your engine and train rosters and perform firmware updates on the Base 3. This video will demonstrate connecting the Wi-Fi using the Base 3 system utility. The front of the Base 3 has a few features specific to Wi-Fi. The L logo will illuminate orange when there is a device connected to the Base 3 using Wi-Fi. The green light bar will flash anytime there is Wi-Fi activity. This is when a Wi-Fi command is sent or received. The AP Network slide switch changes the mode the Base 3's Wi-Fi is set to. We'll go over this in a moment. Finally, the WPS push button is used for connecting the Base 3 to an existing network. Access point mode is when the Base 3 creates its own Wi-Fi network. Note that this network will not have an internet connection. To set up the access point, make sure that the AP network switch is set to AP. On your PC, look at the available network connections. The Base 3 will show as Lionel Base 3-X, where X will be unique to every Base 3 unit. In our example, it is F7F4. Connect the PC to that network. No password is required. Once connected, open the Base 3 system utility. It should automatically connect. If it does not automatically connect, go to Configure, Communications, and make sure the IP address is set to 192.168.111.1, which is the default for the Base 3. The Base 3 can join an existing network. WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup, is a quick and easy way to add the Base 3 to your existing network. You will want to check the specs of your Wi-Fi router to see if it is WPS compatible. In this video demonstration, we're using a TP-Link Wireless N router. Slide the Base 3's AP network switch to network. Press and hold the WPS button for two seconds until the orange L logo flashes. Press the WPS button on your router and wait for the connection to establish. You can tell a connection is successful if the green light bar illuminates for three seconds. If it does not come on and the L light stops flashing, the connection was unsuccessful and you can try again. Once connected, you can open the Base 3 system utility. Make sure the PC is connected to your Wi-Fi router. The Base 3 system utility will need to search for the Base 3's new IP address. Click on Configure, Communications, and click Search. Once the new IP address is found, click OK. Many Wi-Fi routers are not WPS compatible. If yours is not, you can still add the Base 3 to your network with a few added steps. You first need to connect your PC to the Base 3's access point network as described earlier. Once connected, open the Base 3 system utility and go to the Wi-Fi settings tab. Here, enter your network's SSID and password. The SSID is the network's name. In our case, it is tp-link underscore f12e. Enter the password as well. Note that these are both case-sensitive entries. Once entered, hit Set. Now flip the Base 3's AP network switch to Network. Connect your PC back to your network. Reopen the Base 3 system utility and click on Configure, Communications, and Search. Once the new IP address is found, click OK. The main advantage of connecting to your Base 3 over an existing network is to retain an internet connection. This means the Cab3 app will have access to download engine images. It will also allow you to connect to your Base 3 quicker, as you will not need to switch to the Base 3's AP network. Keep in mind that if the Base 3 is connected to a network while there is heavy traffic present, such as video streaming, there may be lags from when a command is sent to when the Base 3 receives and processes it. If this is a common occurrence, access point mode may be your best option.